Greetings everyone, and welcome back to another installment of Inside Set. Today, we journey to Die Rise to investigate the self-crafted buildable, the Sliquifier. Available exclusively to Die Rise, to create this local fire, one must obtain four separate pieces scattered throughout the multiple levels of the skyscraper. This method of obtaining the device is very similar to a weapon found in California, which I have previously debriefed you about. As for the part locations, the first piece, the fire extinguisher, can be found in a cage adjacent to the workbench where you build this local fire, or in the sweatshop next to a desk. The second, a hand grip, is also found in the sweatshop or in the kitchen below the power room. The next piece, located on an oil drum, is the main body of the weapon. And the final piece, the foregrip, is located near a television set near the power room. Unlike the Thrustodyne Aeronautics Model 23 before, the bootable does not take up your equipment slot. Instead, it takes up a weapon slot, placing your current weapon. So Mule Kick is advised to create the loadout best suited to your tastes. At first glance, this local fire seems very lackluster. It, unlike the Thrustodyne, has an ammunition limit, with a large 10 round clip and an impressive 40 rounds in reserve. Also, when obtained, the weapon will vanish from the bench. But do not concern yourself with this. The weapon will be available from the box later, just in case you happen to misplace it. Upon further examination and continued field testing, the Slickifier proves to be a very valuable asset when fighting in the close quarters of Die Rise. The weapon fires an unknown purple substance, which would instantly kill a zombie at any round. This was the case until the weapon was patched on February 22nd, 2013. The effects of this patch nerfed the weapon's damage down to 5.5 million, a colossal amount of damage, and the highest of any non insta kill weapon. The damage, however high it may be, does start to create crawlers after round 100. This severely reduces the weapon's effectiveness for those who strive to get to higher rounds. But for the rest of us, the weapon still remains one of the best weapons on offer. Each fired shot will also chain to any nearby enemies, with no limit as to how many it can spread to. This effect is very similar to the Wunderwaffe DG2's chain lightning, albeit at a much slower chain rate. Use caution when firing the weapon, as the residue from each shot will leave any surface it touches slippery, causing zombies and you to slip on said surface. Due to the device being built at the workbench, it cannot be pack-punched. It also cannot be pack-punched even when obtained from the mystery box. This is somewhat unfortunate, but the standard variant is more than enough to get the job done and survive the horde of zombies. And finally, the Slicker Fire is also used as part of the High Maintenance Easter Egg, where the player must fire 20 shots of munitions at each of the balls in the Lion's protective grasps. In conclusion, the Slicker Fire is a very peculiar piece of machinery. Capable of insta-kills until round 100, it brings back fond memories of weapons such as the Wunderwaffe, the Thunder Gun, and the Wave Gun. But due to the recent patch, it can also bring up bad memories of the scavenger from Call of the Dead. This weapon may not be for everyone, and can be detrimental to you and your team if used clumsily and haphazardly. That is all for today. Until next time, goodbye my friends.